take my tea this morning since it's cold. <laughs> yeah. All right. So just come to a comfortable seat that works for you. I'm going to get my timer. Always good to just reset. So here we are Monday morning. Again, these weeks are surprisingly kind of flying by. So let's just reset ourselves. And maybe close your eyes if that's helpful for you, just to turn inward for a moment away from all of the, the screens that I know we're on again, but let go of the screens, turn inward, and find your root. We are all grounded through our own tailbone. If we had a tail, we could like imagine it dropping down into the earth and really grounding ourselves here like all the plants and trees, give yourself your own root and ground into today. Every day is different. Let's reset our, our minds, our hearts, our, our intentions as we take one day at a time. So grounding with ease into today, this new day ahead of us. And also feel a lift. So really, we have that grounding energy, like all the plants and trees down into the earth, but we also want to feel lifted and light. So feel some energy rise up through you, up and through the crown of your head, You're lifting up towards the sun today, but also knowing you have your foundation beneath you. And feel that balance. We're going to work with balancing ourselves today. So feel the balance of grounding, lifting, and balancing your own body of shoulders over the hips, just trying to create that nice tall spine within yourself, space for your breath, space for all of your organs, all of our systems to work at their best today. And speaking of breath, just really be grateful for the breath. Let's practice belly breathing, a really great tool to help all of us stay calm now and always. So you may want to even bring your hand to your low belly as you inhale, feel that part of your body expand. So you're bringing new energy in deep into your own being and exhale, belly presses back, clearing out all the old stale energy or anything else that you just don't need right now. Let it go. So again, slow belly breathing, helping create a little more calm, a little more space, a little more patience, maybe a little more ease. This belly breathing actually activates the parasympathetic nervous system. So that's the opposite of fight or flight where a lot of us have been living for a while, that kind of chronic low anxiety and stress that we just, it's not helpful. Our, the rest of our systems can't really work at their peak when we are just managing stress. So let's shift out of it, shift into more peace, more ease, more trust. All of these energies that help us find more balance, help us find more health, Vitality. Just one more nice slow round. Great. And then entering your mind this morning. So going into the center of your head and clear out all the chatter. We can do this every day. Just clear out all the other people, all the, the thoughts, the statistics, all the other influences that are around us now more than ever. And clear them all out and start your day fresh. Have a peaceful space for you, your own space in your mind that is always there. And set a new intention or maybe a dedication today of the energy of our practice outward. We 
community to healthcare workers or people in education, people trying to keep vital systems running. Maybe people you know who are ill and not well. And maybe just for ourselves, starting with ourselves to feel peaceful. And if you'd like to join me with one OM, OM is a simple mantra that we unite in our practice and we imagine uniting with all living beings everywhere. So you can just breathe or, or chant with me. Let's take a cleansing breath first. Inhale. Om. Open your eyes if you'd like, and then let's actually clasp our hands around each other at our heart. Take a deep breath from the heart and exhale. Press your palms straight out. Now anchor your shoulder blades here, and let's begin to move. Let's inhale. Lift up in the arms. Lift the sides of the body. Look up. So it's a little lift from behind your heart even. And then exhale into the opposite curve. We're going to round into our back. Press through the arms. A couple more, inhaling, waking up the front of the body, the sides, all the way up through the crowd, and exhaling, rounding down the back. A couple more. Just checking in. Yoga teaches us a lot of awareness about ourselves, where we're holding on to tension, where we can kind of move some things out. And then let's meet at the top this time whenever you're there. Re-anchor, re-ground your legs, your hips, really steady, but then lift a little more. Deep breath in, and let's take a twist to your right. Twist your ribs, your heart, your head, and then float your arms, one behind you, one on the opposite knee. It's just a nice warm-up twist here. Inhaling, spiral up through your crown. Really lift and lengthen with your breath, and exhale, belly strong, and see if you can twist a little deeper, just wringing out like a wet towel. I always like that image, just flushing out, wringing out anything you don't need to hold as we wake up. One more breath. And inhale, bring your back arm up, and let's take that diagonal stretch across the ceiling. So anchoring your legs, keep your foundation strong, but reach the sides. You decide where to look. Maybe it does feel good to look up, or maybe just center, or maybe down at the floor. Just wake it all up. Full breath through the sides of the ribs. Just make space. Great, and then release. Come back to center. Inhale, let's just lengthen and lift. Clasp the hands, give them a flip. Grounding down, lifting up, feeling both. Good, and then the opposite twist. Inhale into it, see how tall you can get, and exhale, release. One again behind you, on the opposite knee. Give that counter twist down the left side of the body this time. Deep breath. Try to relax your shoulders, your face. Just breathe. Great, and in the back arm, sweep it up, take it across. Let's see how this side feels. Again, grateful for the breath. Can you feel the breath expanding your lungs all the way around, each side, front and back? Great, and release, unwind. One more through center, inhale. Last those hands again, flip them up, connecting fingers and thumbs. So really staying grounded here. Again, lift a little bit more up and back with your arms, lift your heart. And then just release hands at your sides. Let's wake up the shoulders a little bit. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up towards your ears, exhale back and down. Just shake some circles, wake up the shoulders, get that circulation flowing. 
And then keep the shoulders down. Let's take a deep breath up to the crown of your head and exhale, tip your left ear towards your left shoulder. Right shoulder really reaches down. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Let's just wake up the, the neck. Back and forth with your breath. Use the exhale to stretch. And let's hold on this left side this time, left hand on your head for a little more weight. And then your right arm can reach out, maybe flex the fingers, maybe pull back, maybe add some movement for your head. Neck usually feels a lot of tension, holds on to tension. It's really strong muscles. Stretch them out. And then back to center. When you're ready, take a deep breath up through the center line. Exhale, other side, holding and breathing. It's the same options. Kind of go deeper with awareness. How does this side feel? Great. And let that go. So center, inhale. Keep those shoulders down, but inhale, chin up towards the ceiling. Exhale, chin straight down towards your chest. So just up and down, leading with your chin, balancing out the neck. Great, and center. And now let's take the arms wide. Inhale, palm to roll open. Squeeze your shoulder blades in the back of your body and see if you can open up a little bit more across your shoulders. And then opposite, bringing out the other way. A couple more, inhaling, opening up, up with the fingers, exhaling around. Let's get all the joints open this morning. Fingers, you kind of squeeze them, wrists. Great, and then let's take some eagle arms. So we're gonna weave left elbow under, connect your elbows, and if you can, connect your other palms. If that does not feel good in your shoulders, just hold your other opposite shoulder. So let's move just a bit here. Let's inhale, lift your elbows just a little bit. Exhale, take a little rounding, stretching out the back. And a few more, just move with your breath. Inhaling, rising up a bit, exhaling, Curling in, stretching that upper and middle back space. Great. And back to center. Release the arms. Let them be free. Take some gentle movement, freeing the energy. And then opposite eagle arms, right elbow under. So connect, connect, or connect. And then with the breath, inhale, lift a little bit, just little micro movements, exhaling, rounding. Great, and then back to center, free the arms, your little eagle wings, let them move. And then straight up one more time, deep breath here. Exhale, just take a slow bow forward, anchor your tailbone, let your hands and head come down. Take a few breaths there. Just anchoring your tailbone, stretching the head away from the tailbone. And then roll forward to tabletop. I will switch. So coming to Hands and knees, getting situated, yep. Knees are under your hips, hands are under your shoulders. Let's inhale, drop your belly and look up. So opening the whole front body. And exhaling down your back, pressing into the mat. And just like waves moving through you. With the inhale all the way up and exhaling down. Let's do three more rounds. Mm -hmm. 
move into any of those tight spaces that you're finding. Low back, middle back, upper back, neck. Last one. Come back to center. Bring the knees a little closer together. Inhale, center, exhale, swivel to the left. Look over your other shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale, other side. So just do a little pivot on your knees. Exhale, into the stretch. Doesn't matter how far you go, just work into those tight spaces, opening things up. Last cycle through. And center. Let's stretch our right toes straight back behind us onto the mat. Press through your heel. Breathe through the foot, the Achilles tendon, the calf. Pull on that. Now keep a nice bend in your elbows for some muscle strength here. Inhale, lift that right leg up and look up. Exhale, round in. Let's do four more. Inhale to expand. Exhale to contract. Last one. And then for balance, let's extend the legs straight back like you're pressing a wall behind you. And then office and arms gonna float forward. Look slightly down, keep the neck nice and long, and breathe. One more breath, reach through. Great, exhale, tabletop, cat stretch, any movement that feels good, just decompress. Great, so other side, left toes straight back, ground. Press a little bit through it. Open up the toes, the sole, ankle. Great, then movement for the hip and spine. Inhale, lift, look up. Exhale, round. Keep that going. Last one, inhale to really open the front of the hip, exhale, curl, and extend. So let's find our balance on this side. The lifted leg kind of rolls inward for stability. Anchor that in, and then opposite arm. Looking slightly forward and down, breathe from the center of your body, and reach in both directions. One more breath, feeling stability and strength and release. Cat stretch it in. This time, let's just draw some circles. So you can kind of drop your torso forward, exhale around. Big circles leading with your hips. And reverse, picking everything up. And let's go right through center now, child's pose, balasana. We bow, tailbone towards your heels, and then head reaches away. So see how far down and away your head can land. And breathe. The child's pose named after is a pose that child, children can go to to calm themselves. So turning your awareness inward and just checking in with yourself this morning. Rounding into today. One more big breath. And 
preparing to get off of our knees, coming up through downward facing dog. So this is a good prep pose for it. You can extend your arms as far forward as you can, straight out of your shoulders. Hands shoulder width apart and spread out the fingers really wide, ground them. And then you're ready. We inhale, tabletop, curl the toes, and exhale, hips up towards the sky as we let our head hang. It's a really good inversion here, keeping our lungs healthy. We keep hearing that, getting the lungs in different positions, keeping them warm. So let's move here a bit. So let's keep our hands and feet grounded. Inhale into a long line, it's called a plank. Just a nice straight line through your body, aligning your shoulders over the wrists. And exhale back up, your downward facing dog. So two more of those. Inhale and just unhinge, find that long line through you, nice and strong. And exhale, press the hips back up. One more time. Slow, mindful movement, no rush. Take another deep breath here. And then we'll take a walk to the front of the mat, arriving in a standing forward fold. For this first one, feel free to really take your feet maybe hip distance, and that's two fists would fit in the center or in between your feet, just to kind of keep some space there. Then inhale to a flat back, so it's lengthen through the crown of your head. And exhale, fold. It's from your belly first, then everything else folds. You let the head go. Two more. Inhale, just extend, feel that good length and strength of the back body. And release, fold. One more time. Reaching through the crown of the head, nice strong legs. And exhale, let it all go. Let's sway a little bit side to side. Wherever your hands land, just let them touch something. Energy to your brain this morning. And back to center and inhale, roll up slowly. So let's take a slow, Roll up, stacking your spine. If you ever get dizzy, you can squeeze your fists. Send that blood back. Good. So this is Tadasana, mountain pose. We're gonna go through a few rounds of a classical sun salutation. That is called Surya Namaskar in Sanskrit. And it always reminds me of a woman who was in her 80s that was coming to my therapeutic class in Denver like a decade ago. And she grew up in India. And she told us that every day before school, before they got to go to school, they would have to drink their milk and do 12 rounds of sun salutations to wake up in the morning and stay healthy. It's just part of their culture. And that's where India, uh, where yoga began. So it was nice to hear that it was really part of her lifestyle. And it does just, it opens us up. It greets the sun in the morning. It has bath bends and forward folds and lunges. So it's just a balanced practice. And we're, there are many styles of it, but this is gonna be nice and slow and mindful. And just movement with your breath. We're just waking up the body, uniting your movement with the breath. And if it's new to you, you'll get it. We'll do a few rounds. All right, so come to mountain pose. This is just feeling strong in your body today, grounded through your legs, but also lifted through your heart, lifted through the head. Just feel that balance. Great. So it's a vinyasa. It means it does move with our breath. So let's practice this nice and slowly. Inhale, lifting through that space in the side of the body. Lift your heart and exhale, forward fold. Feel free to really bend your knees, keep your back safe. Then inhale, left leg back into a lunge. Great. And then exhale, downward dog, where we just were. And inhale, plank, to shift forward. Exhale, knees to your mat, chest and chin lower down, elbows in. And everything to the mat, inhale, take a cobra. This is just a little gentle back bend. Then exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, left leg forward. Take a few steps as you need to. 
Exhale, forward fold. Let the head go. Inhale, rise. Little back bend. Lift your heart. And exhale back to the heart. And that's one round. <clears throat> so it symbolizes the path of the sun in one year. So starting here, the summer solstice, where the peak of light is in the year, and it goes down and back up. So that's kind of cool to look at it that way. So let's do a few more. So it's just waking up the body. Let's release the arms. We're ready. Inhale again, little back bend, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg back. So you're just here in this lunge, symbolizing balance. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin lower. Then inhale into a cobra. So your legs are grounded, your heart lifts up. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Heart lifts, or hips lift. Inhale, right leg through. Then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Root your legs, lift your heart. And exhale, bring it back. Great, let's do a few more, keeping it a little more fluid. Releasing the arms. Inhale to the sky, greeting the day. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back, looking up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin lower, elbows in. Belly drops. Inhale, cobra, mujangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up the center line, lift your heart. And meeting back at the heart. Take a breath. Good, let's do one more. Getting everything open and flowing. Release the arms. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg back, looking up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin lower. Inhale, find your cobra. And exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg through, find your lunge. Yep. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. And back to the heart. Exhale and take a breath. Nice. Feeling the heart pumping that good circulation through you, through the movements. Let's drop the arms again and move on from here. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold again, just to get good circulation to your head, to your mind, to your brain. Then left leg back into a really nice long lunge length. But then we're going to come up. So drop your back heel so it's more parallel to that long end of your mat. And then come up. Good. So we're going to work with warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So we have this lunge in the front knee. Ideally, we stack the knee and the ankle. We don't want to, to, the knee to go beyond it. So find that. And this back leg is straight and strong. And ideally, you can look down. Your front heel lines up with your back arch, trying to kind of open up in the hips. So your foundation is set, for your tailbone, and then reach those warrior arms. Good. So we're going to flow a little bit with our breath. Let's inhale, straighten everything up, and exhale through the heart, back into your lunge, and all the way through. Take a few more, inhaling and exhaling, kind of clear through the heart and through you. One more time. 
And this time we're going to take three deep breaths in your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So for your foundation, straight and strong back leg, root your tailbone, pull the back arm back a little bit, and then sink through the front leg, maybe a little more, feeling balance in your own body and breathe. One more deep breath, sink into it, feel strong, but open heart and inhale, straighten the front leg, exhale, release your arms, roll out the shoulders a little bit, feel all that good energy flowing, even just lifting your own arms, it's work. Great. So legs are straight this time, use your quads, be strong here. Opening up, let's actually float the palms open. And this is... Awareness is that the sides of the body are just wide open. Let's stretch laterally so the side body lengthens. And then we come down like big wings. Trikonasana, triangle pose. You can use a block if you have one on the inside or outside of your front leg. Or just use your, your hand if you use it to pry open. So feel the sides of the body stay nice and long. If there's a lot of shoulder issues out there in the world, so if the shoulder ever feels better just tucked around your back, do that. It's more important what's happening with the spine. So keep all that good space around your heart. Neck issues are pretty common too, so if it feels better, just look center. You can also look down or maybe up at the ceiling. But keep your, your neck long. Take a few more breaths. Feeling all the good space of Trikonasana, triangle pose. And you anchor your back leg a little bit more, really use the glutes and the quads, anchor there. And then maybe you feel more release in the front of the hip. Nice. Then look down, everyone just exhale here. Inhale, use that top arm and reach up, reverse your triangle. Again, feeling grounded in the legs, but so much good space through the sides of the ribs. Feel all that good space to breathe. Look where it feels good. A deep breath in. Let's keep this top arm reaching up, but add your lunge again, that warrior lunge for reverse warrior. And take a few breaths here. Right, one more big breath. And then we're keeping the base this time, but float to the front thigh, either for a good place to rest, bringing your back arm up close to your ear for the side angle, or again, the block on the inside or outside of your front foot. Only if you can stay open. So go where you can stay open in the front of the body. Again, your option to tuck maybe that top arm around, just rolling open or Parsva Konasana, the side angle pose. We can see the diagonal line that starts in our back heel and goes through the whole side body and all the way up. Making shapes by the breath, all the circulation to flow. One more breath. Good, and exhale again, look down. Neck stays long as we rise, inhale. And exhale, let go. Roll out the shoulders. Good. A lot of you know where we're going next. We're going to take a balance. So just watch your space around you. If you want to practice, watch first maybe if you haven't done this before. So you can take your step in with your back foot. This front knee is still our kind of like a spring ready for us to move. The block will be out in front of us. So we're moving into half moon pose. I'll show you if you haven't done it or if you're ready, go for it. I like to tuck the back arm around just to roll that shoulder back, keeping the upper body open as we take flight. So this front foot is our foundation. We're gonna eventually just be on it. So we can step in and then ground and rise. So this lifted leg is only at like hip level. It doesn't have to be super high up anymore. 
lifted leg, glutes and quads are strong. I'm pressing through my lifted heel. And then if I want to, the top arm goes to the sky. Standing leg foundation is strong, so really use those quads, those strong muscles. Just trusting yourself, balancing the mind with the breath. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Just practice it. If you lose it, try it again. Lots of space in this lifted hip. And when you're complete, let's just maybe step way back and land it and find another warrior two. Just have a nice pose to complete. Take a few deep breaths, maybe feeling more space in our hips, in the heart. Great, and then inhale, straighten, relax the arms. If you have the block, if you used it, just switch it. We're just gonna pivot to the other side. So setting up your foundation for the standing series on this side. So front heel lines up with the back arch. And what I mean by this front leg, so if my knee goes past my ankle, I've gone too far. So find a good right angle in your front knee. And then open. Yeah, and check it out on this side. Really anchor back leg, glutes and quads. Reach the back arm back, and then we sink a little deeper. And then with our breath, let's inhale. Straighten, reach up. Exhale, clear it through the heart and all the way through. Healthy movement linked to your breath. And let's hold this one. Again, find that strong warrior within yourself. But it's calm, it's peaceful, open mind, setting energy from your own heart outward through your arms. Great, and then inhale, straighten that front leg, release the arms, shoulders can relax. Preparing for triangle, trikonasana. So legs are staying straight, we're opening up, and this time palms open. Squeeze your shoulder blades in the back. Looking forward, let's inhale, stay right over your front shin as you come down into that triangle shape, trikonasana. There's lots of triangles in this shape. Feeling the quads really strong. Find your muscles supporting you as you go deeper where you can. In the back arm or top arm can tuck around if you'd like. Whatever feels really opening through the side, through the chest, the heart. And one more breath. And exhale, look down, neck is long. Inhale, just reverse your triangle. The other side, get long, reach and breathe. Rooted toes up through the whole fingers. I love you. Feel those side ribs, space in between them. And keep reaching, let's find our reverse warrior. Just simply add your lunge again. Get into those hamstrings, reaching up to the sides. One more breath. And then this is the, the movement for the upper body again, either to the front thigh or inside or outside of your front leg. Keep that front knee tractioning right over your ankle. Again, your option to tuck Maybe the top arm around, that feels nice. Good, one more breath. Awareness from the angle of this pose, Parsava Konasana, that starts in your back leg, back foot, through the side, up through the fingers. Exhale, look down. Inhale, come on up, relax, maybe roll it out. Preparing to fly. So let's get ready to do that on this side. 
it's always nice just to take a, a step in or two with your back foot first. Give yourself some space. Your back arm can tuck around so it doesn't cave us forward. We want to stay open. And then softness, like a little spring ready to support you with the front leg. So front leg, foot is straight forward. Don't let it swivel. Then when you're ready, take your step, ground. So really use standing like quads. That's going to anchor you. Lifting. And just open in your own time. Lifted leg glute, super strong. Help the front of that hip stay open as you press through the lifted heel. Top arm to the sky or not. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Open the heart here. Breathe. Just trusting one day at a time as we go through this. Find your inner stability, calmness. Yeah, if you lose it, find it again. No big deal. It's always a practice. Try to have fun with it. And then when you're complete, let's try to land warrior two. Some little softness and let go. And let's pivot. So both feet are now parallel to those long ends of your mat. And typically, we try to line up maybe our ankles and our wrists. So you just kind of feel that in your own body. Legs are strong, use those quads. And let's give the shoulders another big opening here. So clasp your hands together behind you. Let's take an inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, drop the arms down as you pry up. Lift your heart, look up. See that balance. Good, one more big breath here. And exhale, we're gonna hinge forward to Prasarita Padottanasana. We're going to hinge and dive and let your arms sweep up away wherever they can go. And let's hold the pose, but let your hands come down right under your shoulders in line with your feet if you touch. Tuck the chin a lot and just pull the upper body inward a little bit more. And then arms at the hips. Inhale, call them back up. Get circulation to the brain. Yep, relax, roll that out. And then keep some softness. Let's take a deep breath. And then exhale, hop together. You got it. Nice. So finding Tadasana once again. And feeling all that good energy flowing through you. Waking up all the, the muscles, the tissues, the organs, the breath. And let's bring our hands together in the heart. So right in the middle. And then take a little seat. So we're going to work our, our hips a little bit more in a balance. So just play with it. Don't take it too seriously. So stay here or here. And let's take our left ankle and cross it over our right thigh. Flex this foot a lot. And then we're taking a little seat. So belly nice and strong. Feel that groundedness as we sit. And you can go into the, the hip wherever you want to in space. Maybe even touch a wall if you want some support. Yep. Great. Five deep breaths or so, and then press down to rise, to let that go. Maybe a little space. Let that go. Good. And then back to center. Do the same thing other side. So getting grounded first, take a deep breath, and then exhale, take a little seat again. Opposite side. So your right knee comes up and then open from your hip. Flex the foot a lot. Good. So hands at the heart or on your hips, wherever you feel best. And just keep hinging from the hip, going into wherever tightness or resistance you're feeling. 
Hips are another place that really get tight. Breathe. Standing figure four. Good, and then press down to let that go. Shake it out. And I'm gonna step to the front of the mat just so we can come down onto our back. So actually make a wide stance. I like to come down through a squat. It's a nice release in the low back. So hands to your hips or your heart. Let's take a squat. And honor your knees if you need to stop somewhere, not the full squat. Maybe just come down to the floor if you're ready. <laughs> no big deal. The squats really release the low back. Anchor the tailbone and lift the heart, lift the head. Good. And then the, the mat is there. Let's come down and stretch your legs out in front of you, finding staff pose. You kind of wiggle back and forth, finding your sitting bones, your tailbone. Let's squeeze the shoulders up towards your ears and then roll them back and down. And then actually press into the mat with your hands. Lift your heart, lift your head. Breathe. Dandasana, staff pose. So this is a pose all in itself. To sit strong, grounded, root through your legs. Getting to ground a little bit more. Good. And let's inhale in the arms, right by the ears. Exhale, take a dive forward, eventually everything down, wherever your hands land. And then also your head, tuck it in and breathe. And one more big breath, opening up the back and exhale, surrender something else off of your neck and your shoulders. And inhale, roll up. Let that breath go. And then scooting to the center of the mat, let's work a little energizing core work, a little balance. So if you can find a balancing point, maybe your legs are parallel to the ground, trying to stay lifted into or on the tailbone and not back on the sacrum. You can extend the arms. Or maybe the legs. Let's take three deep breaths wherever you are. Navasana, boat pose. Lifting the heart, lift the head. One more breath, you can do it. And then feet to the mat, let's roll down slowly. Just take a, a really mindful roll down as well as you can. Hug your knees in when you get there, soften your back. And draw some circles, massaging hips, sacrum, back. Great, now we're gonna do one bridge pose. So our feet will land under our knees here. You're gonna look up at the ceiling. <clears throat> Let's try some robot arms today. So the fingertips point up, move your arms right into the side ribs and ground the shoulders, ground those upper arms. And already the heart lifts a bit, we're strong in the back. That's how you wanna keep it. So ground your feet. Let's inhale, scoop your hips up towards the ceiling and come to your shoulders. Keep pressing with those upper arms into the mat. Stay there or arms down. A lot of people like to kind of rock the arms underneath, opening the shoulders a bit more, squeezing the shoulder blades, but make it yours. Either clasping the hands, arms at your sides, all those robot arms. Feel strong in the back, lots of energy to the heart, to the lungs, to the mind. And one more big breath. 
release clasping of the arms, then roll down your back nice and slowly. Traction your tailbone down, then walk your feet wide, knees touch, <coughs> excuse me, together. So it's really softening into the back. Settle. And take some windshield wipers just side to side, swaying through the knees, through the hips. And then the opposite pose, we're going to take our legs long and roll our hands underneath. We're going to sit on our hands, preparing for the fish pose that opens up the throat, the neck, the opposite way. We're going to bend our elbows, this time inhale, heart straight up towards the sky, and then open up, either resting on your head or hovering up the mat just for a few breaths. Grounding the hips, legs, and feet, but lifting, feel the opening in the throat, the heart. Breathe. And release slowly, head down. Release the hands and just feel that settle. Back bends are pretty invigorating. Let it settle. Find the balance. And then bring the knees back into the body one more time. Let's take a, a big breath. Fill up the belly. And exhale, contract into a tiny ball. Apanasana. So two more. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, curl. And from that tiny ball, let's stretch out into Shavasana. So the final pose, we just neutralize all the movements. So in, in yoga, it's a very unique practice where we get to hang upside down, we get to twist and bend in lots of ways. And it all does something for us. It really opens us up and keeps us healthy. <clears throat> so now we settle. Settle it all into today. You can even feel it, little pulses moving through you and just settling into a happy new balance. So reground the whole back of your body now into your mat. Back of the head, shoulders, arms and hands. Back of the yeah, shoulders all the way down the back of the spine, the hips back of the legs, through your heels. Just let the earth support you. Feel the vitality of the earth. It's always there. The earth is healthy, it's happy, it's springtime. And then letting everything soften. Soften your breath. Soften the belly to receive the breath. Soften your heart and all the space around it, letting go of emotions that are not helpful for you. And coming back to emotions that are energies of love, love for ourselves, and all beings everywhere, compassion for ourselves what we're going through and compassion for others. Gratitude for ourselves and what we, we do have in our lives, shelter and healthy food and protection, health. And send that gratitude outward towards others who are doing brave work in the world. Let's take a few more moments just to settle the energy, settle the movement to a few moments of stillness. Just 
taking a few more breaths. With your exhales, you can clear out, consciously let go of any stress that you're, you're feeling, any of those powerful emotions that are out there in the world, the fears, anxieties, just let them go. Send it back to the earth. And fill yourself in as you re-enter your day, filling with you, your light, your essence that you bring to the world. Fill in with health, vitality, gratitude, your intentions for the day. And being gentle with yourself as you wake up, keeping the calm, keeping the peace, the balance, wiggle the fingers, the toes, the wrists, the ankles. And a big full body stretch from head to toe. And one more hug for yourself. Thank yourself for taking a little time for yourself to feel healthy and strong, flexible, peaceful. And either roll to a side or roll up to a seat. And we will close the practice. So bow on your head towards your heart. Let's just notice how we feel now at the end of the practice and how yoga worked on us today. I'm grateful for all of you for joining together for the practice today, helping us stay connected, healthy. Let's take a big breath of this peace and send it way out to the world, all around the world. Peace, healing, love, the benefits of the practice benefit others. Another big breath, filling with peace, healing, and love, and send it out to your community a little closer, the city, the state, the country. And last one for ourselves, to remind us to start with ourselves, really honor what you need to feel balanced and healthy, and may that ripple outward into the world. Thank you all for, again, joining in the practice. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. And namaste just means I honor the light in you. So keep that light shining. Thanks, everyone.